I started cooking barbecue when I was about 12 years old. My dad shoveling coals up under a whole hog. One of the biggest competitions I won was in 2004. It was the Blues, Brews, and Barbecue in Charlotte, North Carolina. And Mr. Myron Mixon himself was there. I won a second place trophy there. Beat old Mr. Myron Mixon out there that weekend. Very good, Myron. I've got more than 40 years under my belt shoveling coals, so I know how to do this thing old school. We're going to do something here to these ribs that probably nobody else does. It. I'd love to inject them. Well, by God, we're going to inject Let's do it. The flavor profile I'm looking on my ribs is sweet, like a candy. We're going to inject these ribs with a honey butter. It goes right along with that candy flavor. This is what I do at home. And this is going to be just an awesome, different flavor than those guys have ever tasted up there. I might be old, dude, but I'm bringing some new stuff to the cooks. We're going to put some rub on them now. Our salt rub consists of just regular old salt. We get a little heat for black pepper, and paprika is there for color. We always try to put a light coating on it. I use the two-step process on my ribs because I want that salt to set. We're going to come with our second rub now. This is a sweet rub. It's brown sugar, white sugar, some chili powder, a little mustard, give you a little bite. Got an onion salt, celery salt, and paprika for color. They look perfect. We've got our baby back ribs. They look great. Bring them home, bro. All right, bud. I'm going to put them on my gravity-fed smoker at 275 degrees, two and a half hour cook. Look good, don't you, man? They look real good. I think we got something that's going to slap their tongue right out of their head, buddy, because it's going to be good. My ribs have been on for an hour. Beautiful, beautiful color looking good, and I'm going to wrap them in full. I like a rib that tastes like candy. We're going to go with our butter. I'm going to uh, put down a bed of honey, butter, and brown sugar. I'm going to set those ribs bone side down in that sugar. This is the tried true method. It brings a little extra ump to that sweetness. Back with our honey, I think they're going to be good, as long as we don't overcook them. That's the main thing. I'm going back to my gravity-fed smoker at 275 degrees. Hopefully, they'll be exactly where I need them to be to send in to the judges. The ribs have been on the gravity-fed smoker for an hour. I'm ready to pull the temp, and I'm looking for around 190 degrees. I'm in the 220s, so I holler for John to get a pan over. John drops the ribs. At this point, I am figured they have just fallen all to pieces. Damn. Got to get these ribs out of the foil to see if there's anything we can salvage. Hopefully, they're not too done. And I'm looking for around 190 degrees. Where that? It's perfect. Everything looks great. I'm thinking once you're done, you stuck all the way through. I just screwed up big time. I stuck my thermometer in completely through the foil, and I was actually pulling the temp out of my cooker. Very good. This here is our rib glaze. It's sweet. It's got honey, molasses, got apple jelly, and blackberry jelly. That thing will shine like a candy apple when I get through with it. These are what I consider a North Carolina rib, and I'm going to stack them in there. One, two, three, and I'm going to come with a presentation rib in the front. 